It will be surprising if the strange, independent character of the black countryman disappears. Not when there are men like Joe Mallon around, publican, chainmaker, and general tough nut. Joe Mallon bred the first world champion Staffordshire Bull Terrier, Gentleman Jim. While Joe made chains, Gentleman Jim watched. Joe Mallon's list of champion dogs and fighting dogs makes formidable reading. His Staffordshire Bull Terriers and their offspring won honours at Crufts and in international show rings. But Joe Mallon's also seen his dogs fight desperate battles for high stakes in the cellar under the pub. I want to tell you this. I have definitely seen a lot of it, but I've never seen no cruelty in all my life. I've heard them talk about they tear dogs to pieces. Now, I've never seen it. I've seen Henry Cooper in the ring served out more than I've seen at Stafford. If a man uh, seen his dog being knocked about too much, he throw the sponge in. Uh, this dog, he belongs to George Edge from uh, Cradley, the vine, Cradley. And he's a smashing Staffordshire Terrier in my eye. He's, he's got a wonderful pair of ears. He's got a black nose, he's got a dark eye. But he's just a little bit too heavy for show according to the rules. But he has won a few prizes, firsts and seconds and that. There's one good thing about him here. He's got a wonderful mouth. He's not on the shot. If you get a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, which is on the shot, it's points against him very much. Now, this dog has got one of the best mouths that you'd see on a Stafford. Eh? And uh, his ear is 100%, neck as hard as a bullet, and he's a very, he's, he's, well, you can tell by the look of him, he's as strong as a, a car horse. And I should say, if this dog had got a fight in a battle, He's six pound overweight, six pound. You, you could get six pound out of this dog. Uh, George, you hold this dog a bit while well, I tell my friend. If uh, this is how they fight these dogs. Now, supposing that's your dog and that's mine. There's a referee in the pit. There's two players. The player, uh, one in one corner, one in the other. They toss for corners and... Uh, the referee, uh, and there's a man the other side with a bottle of water and a sponge, like his second, and one in the other court, uh, just outside the pit, with a bottle of water and a sponge. And the referee, he calls time, loose your dogs. So they loose the dogs and they start fighting. They'll fight for a quarter of an hour or 20 minutes or something like that, and they'll come off through exhaustion. I remember the cradle youth dog of fighting a rowley dog. And I was a spectator at the time. Uh, and uh, um, they come off, he come off in about 10 minutes. Uh, 10 minutes is a long while, you know. He comes off and uh, the fellow takes him to his corner. The referee says, time, loose your dog. He loosed him and he jumped out of the pit and ran off, up, uh, lost the money. See, either dog refusing or stopping, he wasn't hurt. See? And uh, I seen one at Surrey. It was for £25 a side. And uh, that lasted just over half an hour. And uh, the same thing happened. The Surrey dog had got to come across and he, he refused to come. He dropped down. When the referee called on, he dropped down and was <laughs> lost the money. See, he refused to come across. Now, you follow me in there, don't you? Yeah. Do you know, uh, uh, one hour after, he mated a bitch. <laughs>